In the northern region, residents recounted how bad the Salagakbandai roads were until the road infrastructure development projects arrived. The then deteriorated roads have now been smoothly paved and they can't help but express their profound gratitude to the government for such an initiative. Previous time, it wasn't like this. The way they have able to construct the road, we thank God. We don't know what to even to say to the highways and the contractors. We are very, very appreciate what they have done to us. Although they say that they are coming to tie the road, but the way it is now, we thank God. Because at first, we have not been seeing some cars on this road. But today, as I'm speaking, we have VIP from Accra direct to Salaga. So if you couldn't thank God, what are we going to say again? We thank the government of Ghana and his entire ministers the effort and the help they have bring to our existence. We appreciate their effort, including Honorable Adam Brema Salifu, Salaga MP. Likewise, the Tamale Salaga Road has been rehabilitated. Tamale, the capital of the northern region of Ghana, is known for its traditional mosque and large central mosque. Town roads within the metropolis have been paved. Moreover, work on the Temale interchange is progressing steadily. The interchange is about one kilometer long and links the Kumasi Road through the Point 7 Road. The project is envisioned to promote economic activities in the business center. You know, Tamale is a highway to Burkina Faso and those places for mostly good heavy goods vehicles and travelers. So what was happening is that when the trucks get into town, the city center is quite congested. So what they do is that, and the turnings are quite sharp. Long vehicles are not able to make those turnings. So what happens is that they get to the first runabout before you enter t town. Either you go to the right towards the Salaga Road and make a turn in there. That will be like six kilometers down and another about 10 kilometers into town. They were destroying local roads in town. So you usually have a lot of potholing happening within the city and the local areas. But what this interchange seeks to do now 
coming from the south, that's from Techiman, Kumasi, coming or going out of town to Bulga, you don't need to do all those maneuvers. Straight, you get to the first runabout, just about three, four kilometers. You go over town and off you go to Bulga. So it cuts travel time down. It even cuts the length of roadway you have to use. And I think that in turn will even minimize the kinds of distractions that these tracks were causing in town. Tamale Overpass is gradually reshaping the landscape and road network to complement its current accolade, the fastest growing city in West Africa. Before it was towed, like it was very bad here, doing like a lot of dust and especially when it rains, like the whole place is messed up. But right now, you can see it's towed. Like we are okay. We like you walk freely, and when it rains, you are okay. Like we really appreciate because. Carved from the former eastern Dagumba district, Gushegu is the third largest district in the northern region. Gushegu na Lerigu roads have been taken through asphaltic layering.
Similarly, commuters who utilize the Nakpali Zabzugu Road have reasons to revel over the tarmac overlays.